sing. In Hollywood, like life, it's that magical moment that changes everything. But there's one kiss so unique it has captured our imaginations and inspired imitators around the world. You'll find an enchantment that accidental spaghetti kiss between two beloved dogs in 1955, Lady and the Tramp. But who created this brilliant smooch? Now, along with the double feature, you always had a cartoon. Meet 84-year-old Willie Ito from Monterey Park. He remembers being five years old in 1939, going to a movie theater in San Francisco, and his life changed. The most memorable thing was seeing Snow White and the Seven Dwarf for the first time. Seeing the seven little men marching across the screen, singing, I hope, I hope, it's home from work we go. I thought to myself, that's it. That's what I want to be. Not one of the seven dwarfs but an animated cartoonist. But before Willie could learn anything about being an artist, he had to learn some tough lessons about the world, like December 7th, 1941. Practically every street corner had newsboys shouting out, extra, extra, war. I never heard that word war before. At eight years old, Willie was locked up in a concentration camp with thousands of other Japanese Americans, imprisoned simply because of his ancestry. Some of the early arrivals had to stay in the horse stables, and the stables were just packed dirt and manure, and the stench was, oh, something else. But while locked up, Willie honed his skills as an artist. And after the war, he continued to draw, even showing me some of his high school creations. It was these pieces that landed him an interview with Walt Disney Studios. The very first encounter, when I walk into the animation building and step into the elevator, this is Walt Disney himself. <laughs> and I'm behind Walt, studying the back of his head, thinking to myself, Oh my God, yeah, literally, oh my God. <laughs> By that afternoon, Willie fulfilled a dream. And the uh, production manager says, uh, yeah, you're hired, so you know we're gonna put you in the lady unit. The first scene that they put me on was a very iconic spaghetti kissing scene. I had no idea that the scene I <laughs> uh, you know, worked on initially would turn out to be so iconic. Throughout Willie's career, he's drawn some of the world's most famous cartoons. But looking around his home, it's clear what is closest to his heart, the place where it all began. Not just because it was his first job, but because Disney gave a young minority who had already endured his share of prejudice an opportunity. I always feel that, wow, that particular scene did make an impact. It makes me feel good. Willie Ito, a civil rights pioneer, he won't tell you that. What he will say is despite the hurdles and hardships, he's lived a magical life, a kid that never had to grow up. And that's something we celebrate whenever we see a plate of spaghetti and think of a kiss. David Ono, ABC7 News.